Hi, I'm Dr. Andrea O'Connor, Medical Director of Phoenix Integrative Medicine. So I wanted to talk to you today about pituitary tumors. And you don't really come into a common conversation talking about pituitary tumors. However, I've seen many women in my office with this exact condition. So first, let's just talk about some uh, signs and symptoms to watch for. For example, weight gain, a change to soft facial features. So um, if a family member says, well, you're, you're starting to look like you're putting on weight, yet the scale's not changing much, yet your face is looking bigger, your nose is starting to spread, um, your lips are starting to widen, your tongue may feel full, it may be a little difficult to swallow because of the fullness of the tongue. You may notice your jewelry or your rings fitting tight, gloves fitting tight. Um, Another very common condition is a visual disturbance. So, um, uh, blurry vision, um, seeing spots, dizziness, lightheadedness, um, nausea even, um, headaches. So, visual disturbances, headaches, changes in facial features, changes in the shape of soft tissues, ears, nose, lips, um, and then of course, um, things starting to fit tighter. Um, one of the first things I will do with my patients, and, and quite honestly, most of my patients with pituitary tumors are women. So uh, first and foremost, I'll just order lab work. Um, most importantly, I think it's um, right off the bat, an IGF-1, growth hormone, prolactin, cortisol, metabolic panel, and of course my old standards, fasting insulin, um, A1C, glucose tolerance test, and so on. The list goes a little longer, but make sure if your primary doctor is looking after you for pituitary tumor, they're looking into those tests. Um, I'll wait till I get those back, which is just a couple days, and then um, if it's looking a little suspicious, we'll go ahead and get uh, an MRI of the pituitary. Now there's open MRIs, there's closed MRIs, so um, in case you tend to be claustrophobic, um, now there are options, so no worry about that. X-rays tend to not tell us much. We're talking soft tissue here. The pituitary tumor occurs right behind the third eye, right through there. Now, um, one of my patients I did send to UCLA and she had surgery and they went right through the nasal passages to get right there. And she's doing phenomenal now. Um, unfortunately, she did see a physician in California. Um, I'm assuming a very busy and overworked physician Maybe that didn't have the time uh, to um, refer her to an endocrinologist or a specialist and um, was just told that, um, you know, this is all normal, everything's fine, you know, you're just going through menopause. Um, but then again, this is just what the patient said. I, I, I can't say exactly what that physician had said. But anytime something in your intuition, something in your gut doesn't feel right, um, please seek out a specialist. Um, at Phoenix Integrative Medicine, we do endocrine, uh, hormone balance, naturopathic medicine, um, thyroid disease, and, um, and then pituitary tumors. They're more common than you would believe. Um, incidentally, I'll find them on blood work. Um, I, I'll find um, women complaining of leaky breasts, yet they're not pregnant, and they, their kids are, are grown. So it, it's very common. Now, if it goes untreated, the facial disfigurement will continue. Um, and you'll look like basically someone with gigantism, except you're not growing any taller because the growth plates are crows, but all the soft tissues keep growing. It's not a really pretty look on a, on a woman. Um, and these are very treatable conditions. Now, surgery is not the only treatment. There are medications like bromocryptine and, um, and other medications that suppress the, growth of the, suppress the growth of the pituitary tumor. So please feel free to visit our website or call us. Um, our number is listed on our website, phoenixintegrativemedicine.com. And that's today's topic, pituitary tumors. Thanks. Have a good day.